Go Vacation. Go Vacation is a Nintendo Wii game that they are porting to the Nintendo Switch. It's coming out on July 27th, and, well, I was looking around online, and I haven't really seen any videos um, that discuss, uh, that, that kind of analyze the release trailer that we have gotten for the game. So I figured that, you know what, we can just go through and we can look at some of these scenes and, you know, discuss them and break the whole trailer down. So the trailer opens on an overhead shot of the island. Uh, nothing real special about this. Uh, I noticed there are some hot air balloons. I do not remember if those were in the original game or not, but they're here now. Uh, if they were in the original game on this in this image of the island, then you certainly could not interact with them. But yeah, so we start with this this overhead shot of the island, then it jumps right into an, a very strange intro that is very, very reminiscent of the intro to Wii Sports Resort. Uh, it shows the skydivers jumping out of the airplane, and then they get in formation, and then when they pull their parachutes, the, the camera kind of pans down, and then it pans up onto them. Very similar to what Wii Sports Resort did at the very beginning of the game. Now this is not a sequel to Wii Sports Resort. This is, like I said, a Wii game that is being ported to the Switch. Uh, it was inspired by Wii Sports Resort, but it is by no means a sequel. It's developed by completely different people. Um, you know, I've seen some people out there saying that because it's been five years or whatever since uh, Wii Sports Resort, or seven years, or however long it's been, uh, but that this is just a sequel, but it isn't. Alright, so next shot, it opens, or it shows us the text Marine Resort. This is a little bit interesting, because the text here, that is the text for the logo of the game, for Go Vacation. Whereas in the original game, when it did this very similar shot with the in this location, looking over the the two rocks over uh, Mary Bay, uh, the Marine Resort text was completely different. It kind of panned across the screen and then it zoomed in. Uh, so, if, you know, this we haven't seen uh, this version of the Marine Resort text. Then it jumps into scuba diving. Someone is actually jumping into the water and this is where it starts to get interesting. This is where we start to see the new content in this game. So they jump into the water, and nothing really different or special about it yet. It shows some dolphins, um, but nothing nothing too special yet. And then um, it, it shows us a bit of a whale. Uh, you can see it off in the distance. I, again, I don't know if that was in the original game or not. I, I can't remember. It probably was. Um... Alright, so then it shows a uh, surfer, a guy on a surfboard. Nothing special here, it's just the surfing game all done up in HD from the original game. Um, yeah, then it shows us a better shot of the whale. Then it shows us this image, this picture of a seal. This animal was not in the original game, and I am super excited to see these um, all the new animals that are imp implementing into the the remake, but this guy in particular, it, like look 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 at look at him. I I'm super glad that they they that they put him in here, um, and I'm really interesting to see. Or I I'm really interested to see how uh, you can interact with them. You probably won't be able to interact with them at all, but it it still be interesting to see. Um, next, we get an aerial shot, a bit of an aerial shot. It shows the uh, airplane that you can fly around the marine resort. It doesn't show us too much of the marine resort, um, and I can't really see anything special about this image. You know, everything's in HD. Uh, that's really the only difference uh, when compared to the original game. Then we get some jet skis. These jet skis are besides the fact that they're in HD again. I, I don't really see a lot of a difference here. Uh, they look almost identical to what was in the original game, so I take it they 
they just redid the textures in HD. Um, I imagine the mini games are going to work the same with the jet skis. So, you know, nothing too special here. Then, this next scene is where it gets super, super interesting. So it shows a guy in the marine resort, he's in a bathing suit, fishing off of a boat. Now this was not in the original game at all. There was ice fishing in the snow resort, but there was not fishing in the marine resort. So this is a new thing. Um, I'm guessing you're going to be able to catch like different kinds of fish. Maybe they'll have like a menu that um, kind of like an Animal Crossing. You can you have like your whole collection of fish. You have to complete your your book of fish. But yeah, I'm super interested to see how they're going to implement this as well. Uh, it's very reminiscent of another Wii game, Fishing Resort, uh, which I think Bandai Namco helped develop a little bit. I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, this will be really, really cool to see. It. Um, I'm not sure if they'll have like different locations. Let's say you can, um, if you have to warp to certain locations around, or if you can maybe drive the boat out there and just say, okay, I want to fish in this spot right here. That would be pretty cool if you could just drive around and decide where to fish, but chances are, uh, based on how this game was on the Wii, you'll just warp to a point, and you'll be able to fish off of there, but we'll see. All right, then we get into the snow resort. The snow resort, um, again, the text is in the Go Vacation logo font. Not really a big deal here. Uh, the ski jump scene this one you can see a lot of the snow resort because the he's up so high so this is a pretty good scene to kind of analyze a little bit um, I don't see any immediate changes uh, the the buildings look very similar it's hard to compare to the original game without having a screenshot right off hand um, I don't see any huge differences uh, the hot air balloons were there in the original game the the stands with all the people were there in the original game so, I don't know. It, we'll see if there's anything new added. Hopefully there will be there. But, yeah. Then we get a picture of a fox. A fox. The fox is another new animal. This wasn't in the original game. I believe there was a fox in the game Wii Ski, which was a prequel to this game. It came out before this game. Um, I think there was a fox in that game. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was, but I think you could only get your picture taken with it or something like that. You couldn't actually uh, go up to it or anything. So, you know, we'll see what that means. I mean, here you can see someone go by in the background. So, you know, it's just going to be one of those animals you can see around uh, as you're skiing around and stuff. All right, then we have a shot of four people riding a ski lift which again this is another one that gives us a pretty good shot of looking around but I don't see too much of a uh, difference uh, you know in the grand scheme of things there it's it's kinda hard but I don't really see anything different from what I remember in the original game uh, then we just get some more people skiing alright then we get into dog sled now that this again this isn't super important but there I, I don't know if the snowman, it's kind of like a, a snowman bunny. There were animals in the original game uh, made out of snow that, you know, you could see as you went by. But I don't see any difference. Um, uh, I don't know if there will be any difference. One thing I, I would like to, I, I'm wondering about, they probably won't do this, but in the original game, when you went to do the dog sled, you were on a course that you could not access outside of the dog sled game. You had no idea where it was, uh, presumably somewhere in the snow resort, but there's, oh, on the map, you can't see it anywhere. So it would be very interesting if they added this to the overall, uh, the overall map. And you could say, oh, yeah, dog sledding is over on this side of the map. I think that would be really, really cool. I don't know where they would, uh, put that in but I think it yeah, I think it would be really cool if they added that um, the next scene is pretty important I think because we see snowmobiles now the snowmobiles were the the overall aesthetic of the snowmobile the shape um, the style is 
virtually unchanged as far as I can tell, but we do see this snowmobile that has flames on it. I, I don't remember for sure, but I don't think there were flames. Uh, you couldn't put the flames on the snowmobile in the original game. So I maybe we're going to get some new snowmobile designs. Maybe they're unlockable or something. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the, the, the new snowmobile designs... Uh, just just adding a couple more would open up so many more options for customizing them. All right, then we see some reindeer. Nothing special here. They were just that that's the same spot they were in the original game over by the observatory. I think that was point ten on the map. It's not important, but yeah, nothing special there. They're obviously HD, but so is the entire game. Okay, so then we get into the mountain resort. So this mountain resort text, um, I'm just going to skip over the fact that it's the same as the logo as the past two resorts have been. So we get into kayaking. Now this first scene of the kayakers, it it actually looks really, really good because the colors are really vibrant, which they were in the original game too, but it, it being in HD and all the water looks great in HD. It's it's really, really cool. Um, I, I guess that's all I have to say about that, though. I mean, we see a, five kayakers in this shot. I'm not sure if if there were that many going down like because they spawn in groups I'm not sure if there were ever more than four at a time obviously one of these is the player but I don't know we'll see about the kayaking it looks great in HD uh, okay whitewater rafting again this looks fantastic in HD um, it looks great um, this is another thing very similar to the dog sled where they're the whitewater rafting courses weren't an actual part of the resort. You couldn't access them outside of the game, outside of the mini game of whitewater rafting. So I would like to see them add this in as well. I, th I think they could. Uh, they might as well. They're remaking the game, right? Add some of uh, these extra things, these things that weren't actually in the game uh, at the beginning. Well, you know, all these extra areas, you can add them into the map. It, I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, horseback riding. As far as I can tell, that's the same. There aren't uh, the horse designs. Those were both horses that you could... Those were both colors of horses that you could have um, in the original game. Nothing too special there, I think. This next scene... Oh my gosh. We have a picture of the cars. This is a car race, I think, based on how all three of these cars are moving in the same direction. It might be an open race, which just means get to the goal and however... In, uh, however possible but we see this kind of old old style car which was not even close to being in the original game all we saw was this car that's front and center right here this kind of off-road SUV but this new car this is it's pretty cool looking like I don't know you probably won't be able to put the top up but I mean it's a new car so I'm super looking forward to seeing if there are any more than these two. I would love to see more than these two cars. Um, maybe you have like a whole a whole selection, so you could have a whole bunch of different cars during a race. I think that'd be really neat. And I'm also interested to see the uh, different colors of the new car. Um, I imagine you're going to be able to pick the two colors, the light blue and the dark blue that you see on there. So I'll be interested to see that. Okay, tennis, nothing too special about tennis. It's just HD'd up. Um, the next shot of the two guys riding the train, the two people riding the train. This is a little bit interesting because you can see out the window there is a message balloon. Uh, that might just be a red message balloon that's kind of, uh, you can't tell that it's red. It looks more purple or pink in this picture. Um, but it, it might just be a red message balloon that, you can't see uh, because of the the whatever the glare of the glass would be outside the window, but it might be a new balloon. I know they were talking about um, if you find a balloon, you unlock certain items. If you find like certain balloons, you unlock certain items, or maybe with like treasure chests or something. But I don't know. I, d I also don't know if that was a a spot where the balloons could 
spawn in the original game because there were certain spots where they would spawn you could get red balloons or blue balloons um, blue balloons would just give you hints as to where like treasure chests were and stuff and red balloons would give you stats on like how long you've been playing and how far you've traveled in the game and whatnot so yeah I think uh, seeing a new kind of balloon that could be pretty cool as well um, and then also we can see what looks to be a couple cows off in the back there. Um, there were cows, there were farm animals in the mountain resort in this area uh, and, uh, in the original game, so I don't think that's anything too special there. Alright, then we get into some of the animals. So, there was a this hippo. This hippo is kind of in an odd spot because if you look close, he's actually in the marine resort. That muddy water is marine is from the marine resort. So that's interesting that they would kind of throw that in there, but that is definitely he is definitely you find him in the marine resort. So they just kind of threw him in there in, within all the mountain resort stuff. Um, I don't know to throw you off or maybe it just worked there. Anyway, then we get to the peacock. So this is another new animal. Um, this peacock is in the mountain resort, so, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be right at the top of the big waterfall, I can't think of the name of that, uh, offhand, but it looks like it's going to be in that little, uh, grassy plain right off to the side of the top of the big waterfall that you can go kayaking off. Alright, then we get to the city resort, so the city resort, um, they start off at night here, which I think the city resort is the best at nighttime. But we see a hang gliding. I'm looking at this building in the background. I um, I don't recognize that building. I'm I know it was there. It was probably there in the original game. Um, but I don't know. It could be a new building. I don't recognize it offhand. Uh, this trolley. The trolley is virtually unchanged, as far as I can tell. It is the same. Uh, the trolley tracks are the same. Everything in this shot is the same. Uh, we see a one of the messages off to the behind one of the girls' heads. It's the yellow circle with the orange square in it. Again, that was in the original game too. It was just to give you a hint or whatever. You know, nothing too special here. The elephant. Okay, this elephant is. Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they, this elephant... I hope, ho I'm hope i hoping, what I'm trying to say is I'm hoping that this elephant, you're going to be able to interact with it. Maybe you can sit on his back or something. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, you probably won't be able to. But, yeah, and because it, I, I don't, we honestly don't really have anything else to say than that. I mean, a new animal, I would really like to see how it's implemented. I know exactly where that is. I can put up a spot with a... I'll show you the map uh, with an arrow pointing towards right where where he is. He's right there. So, uh, but yeah, nothing else really to say about this, I guess. I mean, he's, he's pretty big, though. I mean, compared to the person. Yeah. Uh, we see some race cars also uh, afterwards. Race cars. The same as the original game as well. If that's, I'm imagining that's the player in that first car there. It's, as far as I can tell, exactly the same. Um, the skater on the on the rails again. It's the same. It's HD, but it's the same. Um, the sidewinder also looks the same. We do get an up close shot of the outfit and a little bit of a of the board though. If you pause at the right time. Uh, and these clothes look great, uh, especially when they're up close like this. Um, and I guess there's not really anything else to say about that, but yeah. For Oh, for those of you that don't know, uh, there are tons and tons of outfits that you can get in the game. So this is obvious, This is just one of them, one of the randomly generated ones. But like each outfit, this would be one outfit here. The, the shirt and the pants would come as one, and then you could choose the shoes and the gloves separately. But then you'd have like 16 colors to pan through, 16 color matches and stuff. Um, you know, while we're on that, maybe they'll add some more uh, some more colors to the 
uh, to the different outfits and stuff, or and to the cars and stuff. That would be I, I would like to see that. Um, here we have an up close shot of the motorcycle. Again, the same. I think it's the same uh, as far as I can tell from the original game. I'm pretty sure it's identical. Um, mini golf. Mini golf is very close to being the same. I'm not positive if you could actually see out these windows that we see in the back with the blue uh, sky because um, if you look really close you can actually see some of the buildings out there so I think that is actually a texture um, back away that uh, from the building it's not like just acting as a window there that those are actual windows where you can see the buildings on the other side which I'm not sure if you could do that in the original I never paid that much attention the mini golf game honestly was not that good um, maybe they changed it up a little bit maybe they made it better uh, probably not but you know we can always hope um, then we have some of the arcade games in the city resort nothing too special here as far as I can tell they are all the same um, that nothing has changed about them at all um, nothing more to say about that alright then we get into the whole bunch of shots of people doing stuff around the island so skydiving in the evening now this is pretty big because um, actually, you might have been able to go skydiving in the evening. Originally, I, I honestly cannot remember because you could go to the Marine Resort during the day and during the evening time. Each resort had two different times you could go. Marine Resort was uh, daytime and evening. City was daytime and nighttime. Snow Resort was daytime and nighttime, and Mountain Resort was uh. Uh, daytime I think and then it was also yeah so it was daytime and then also morning um, oh and then the villas that was just day and night which we'll have to get into the villas here in a minute uh, it looks like they might be doing some new stuff with the villa grounds I'm not sure yet but yeah so for the skydivers uh, yeah it, it's skydiving in the evening there's probably nothing special about that we can't see a hot air balloon um, you know whatever that means uh, ski jumper, nothing too special, uh, just, yeah, there's not really anything special about this one. Um, we see the, the stands for after a race, a snowboard race. I don't think the, uh, that this is any different. Um, they might have added those little, uh, orange island, Kauai island, uh, posters in the background. I'm not sure. Um, but this looks pretty much the same. Uh, dog sled. So the dog sled, um, well, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, so, yeah, this image doesn't really add anything to that. But I will say something about the dogs. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they will add some more dogs. There were eight or nine dogs. I think there were nine different dogs in the original game you could choose from. I can't remember all of them, but there was Golden Retriever, St. Bernard, um, Corgi, uh, there was uh, a wiener dog, there were a couple others, um, obviously, if that I just listed off four there. Um, but I'm, I would really like to see some more kinds of dogs, because you're really limited. Um, let's say you have a dog that isn't in the game you have a dog in real life that isn't in the game I mean you're gonna wanna make your dog in the game but with only nine different breeds to choose from it's kinda hard to to pick there so I'm I would really love to see some more dog breeds added in there that would be really cool maybe some more colors for each because you actually only had five different colors for each uh, for each breed in the original uh, we have a shot of these polar bears here nothing too special here uh, there were polar bears in the original game in the snow resort I could probably point to right where that shot was taken to uh, you know nothing nothing real special here but I, yeah at least they're keeping all the old animals too right we don't want to see them taking out taking out any animals okay so the snowball fight there isn't anything special here either a lot of these are practically pretty much the same um, we see that orange Kauai poster uh, thing again, so it probably was in the original, and I just 
uh, didn't see, I just didn't notice it. But yeah, the snowball fight looks pretty much the same. Uh, snowman building is very, very similar. Uh, I'm not sure if those are any new items on the snowman there. They might be. I don't know. I didn't play snowman building that much. But uh, I again, they have an opportunity to add more items, which would be really cool. Water gun fight is in HD, of course. Uh, we only see this one stage. There were three different stages. There was on the beach, this, these ruins, and then there was another one I can't think of. Oh yeah, the jungle. But yeah, this looks the same. Um, I don't think anything was really changed there. The pie throwing game is exactly the same. Um, the whack-a-mole, again, it was one of those arcade games, or kind of arcade separate tents in the city resort. It's the same. Um, air hockey. I want to talk about this air hockey for a minute. Uh, I don't think this is what the air hockey table looked like in the original. I could be wrong, but I don't remember the uh, the original having these designs on the the main board piece. Uh, again, I could be wrong about that, but I think that might be a new design. Um, that means nothing, but you know it. It's still nice to see them update everything, all the textures. Also, the the ground that this is sitting on, I'm pretty sure that they that is uh, was redone. Uh, this kind of stone line going up the side here, I don't think that was there originally. But again, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've played the uh, the air hockey game. Um, we have a shot here of the marine resort. Nothing too special here, but we do get a nice look at the the kind of the the houses along the the docks here. I I don't think they were changed at all. Maybe they lightened up the color of the walls a little bit. I remember them being a little bit more of a darker brown, but again, I could be wrong on that as well. Okay, this shot here of the mountain resort race stands thing. Uh this gives us a look at the the car and up a uh, closer look at the new car one of the new cars hopefully but we know there is one new car and there's a lot of detail in this thing and I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what this looks like and I mean I imagine it's gonna play the same it's gonna feel the same when you're playing as with another car but you know I, I think that would be really cool and I'm really looking forward to seeing the other colors for that car as well um, and then we have a shot of the hang glider. I think that was the same. Uh, or they used that shot in the original trailer as well, or something very similar to it. Um, yeah, and then we just have uh, one of the person skating, which, you know, I don't really see anything added here in the city resort at all, especially since it's from far away, so some of the smaller details kind of, uh, you know, you can't see them. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I do want to say one more thing though about this trailer. So the 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 trailer uploaded to Nintendo UK's website or to Nintendo UK's channel was different. Um, for, or it was slightly different from the U.S. version, the Nintendo of America. The last scene gives us a shot of the. Uh, the what the game case is gonna look like, which, you know, I gotta say, I actually really, really like this game case. Uh, I think each uh, each resort is represented really well within their little box that they have. Uh, Marine resort, you know, really happy, really bright. Mountain resort is really cool with the sun, the way it is, and the clouds coming over. It's it's a very country feeling. The city resort, I think they captured absolutely perfect uh, the, with the way the race cars are and the lights on the building in the background is is really cool. And then the snow resort, of course, um, nice bright blue sky uh, against the snow looks really nice. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's about it. Uh, all right, I do want to say one more thing. So right here at the start, they started up with this screen here with the island. This is not the actual island. Um, the actual island looks 
very different. Uh, well, not very different, but uh, the, it's 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 certainly different. This one is not to scale in the slightest. Um, I mean, if you look, like here's the here's the island, what it actually looks like. If you look at the sides of the some of the buildings in the city resort, and then you look back at this one, you know, it's 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 different. Um, and then also with the villa grounds, the villa grounds aren't even attached to the main island, to the like the main mountain in this shot. They're actually coming off the marine resort, which I'm not sure what the story is there. Um, but yeah, this was also they used this. Um, this isn't a new drawing of the island at all. Uh, this was they used this uh, for the launch of the original game as well. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I'm. I, I think I, I'm looking forward to this game. At, at first, when I first saw the trailer, I was a little bit like, ah, oh, you know. Um, I was actually upset at first because a lot of the people who who liked this game um, or who spent a lot of time playing this game back on the Wii, uh, they you know they they've been begging Namco to make a sequel, uh, Go Vacation 2, but they they you know Namco's had all this time to do this 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 five years. I think this game came out. I don't know when this game came out. I want to say 2011. If it came out in 2011, then they, you know they've had seven years to make a sequel instead of just revamping this in HD. Uh, but you know we'll see. Um, you know, uh, nothing really more to say that I, I would have preferred a sequel. Uh, but you know you 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 take what you can get. Oh, one more thing. Uh, with the multiplayer, they didn't really talk about the multiplayer in this trailer at all. Um, but in the original game, when you would play with uh, more than two people, the frames uh, the uh, the frames per minute would drop so bad that the game was almost unplayable. I mean, even with two people, it was kind of bad. But like three or four, I think with four people, it can get down to like ten frames per second, which there's no point in even playing the game at that point. So I'm I'm really hoping I I can't imagine why they wouldn't do this, but the frame rates better get better. Uh, they you know they they've got to get better here. Uh, I take it the game is probably going to be playable in 1080p 60 fps. Um, and if the frame rates drop 50% every time you add another person, then you know that that's what happened with the the Wii. So. Come on, Namco. You can't let this happen. I, I want to be able to play with other people and not just stare at a blank screen, you know, a frozen screen. Oh, and then uh, I would also really, really love to see online um, multiplayer, being able to play this online, maybe being able to interact with, uh, you know, people in real time on the island. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know exactly how that would work. Um with like the Mies and stuff uh, because I know they probably want to keep the whole island you know at, as these avatars and your me can come in and you know kinda hang out but I don't know we'll see uh, I would I mean I I don't think they really have a reason not to incorporate online multiplayer um, and I know I'm gonna be pretty upset if the game doesn't have that but hey what can you do? We'll we'll see when the game comes out. I will of course be talking about it then too. So hopefully this game is everything that we're hoping it to be. All right. Thanks for watching.